It's okay, Molly. Everything's gonna be okay. <laughs> I can't believe he's gone. I can't just go on without him here anymore. I know how hard it is. I felt the same way when my dad left me and my mom. There you are. Did you hear about what happened? I sure did. Willie and Luke getting shot up by some random out of nowhere. I can't believe this shit. Easy, Abe. My friend Molly's here. Luke, he was... He was her dad. Oh. Oh my god, Molly. I'm so sorry for what happened. Your dad, he... He was a good man. And a fine police officer. If you ever need anything from us, the door is always open. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Morris. It means a lot to me. What are you even doing here? I thought that you'd be visiting Uncle Willie at the hospital. That's where I'm heading next. I just needed to swing by here real quick to grab a tape player. A tape player? What for? Willie needs to hear some important information as soon as possible. I'll be back soon. Just look after your mom and your friend. I will. Alright, I love you, Lisa. See you in a bit. W was that Abe? What'd he run off to this time? He said he was going to see Uncle Willie at the hospital. <sighs> right. And of course he couldn't have been bothered to tell me. Cool it, Mom. I'm sure he has a lot of things going on at the moment. I'm sure he'll talk to you about all of this sooner or later. Just give him time. Well done, boys. We're actually doing something good for a change by bringing Jeremiah Swanson to justice. Probably the first time we've actually been doing something to help the police. <laughs> Never thought I'd see the day. It's not like I wanted to, but Lewis kind of dragged me into it. It was the right thing to do to help Crow and Sparrow. All of us here on the wrong side of town, we have to try and stick together. Not all of them can see it that way. Come on, Paul. Save me some liquor, would ya? Sorry, Jimmy. Never thought liquor was your style. This is a special night, and I'm willing to try something new. I'll be right back, you guys. You going to check on your little girlfriend, Blake? She's not my girlfriend. I'm just making sure that she's okay. I meant to ask if you're still fine with her staying here. Oh, it's fine, man. She can stay as long as she wants. I don't mind at all. You wanna have a smoke real quick while he's gone? I don't see any reason why not. Hey, I'm sorry if we're being a bit loud for your liking. It's okay. It's nice to hear people laughing for the right reasons. Holy shit, you can talk, but I thought, yes, I lied about being mute. I only did the act to feel special to other people. Why'd you come clean about it now? Because I'm sick of continuing the act, especially to good and honest people like you. All of you have treated me so well, and I thought you deserved the truth. I'm sorry for lying, though. I shouldn't have kept doing it. It's fine, Cindy. I get it. I mean, we've all stretched the truth just to get by. No wonder all of you are still standing. Don't either of you make a single move, or else we kill everyone in that building. My god, you are just as ugly in person. I mean, Lewis only told me a little bit, but Jesus Christ, those wrinkles. Crack all the insults you want. It isn't going to help you out of this. You can do whatever you want to us. A confession tape we recorded is already on its way to the police as we speak. Once they hear what you said about you and your drug business, it'll be over for you. Oh, I wouldn't be so sure about that, kid. You should really be more careful of who you're willing to trust. What are you talking about? Abraham? Is that you? 
Yeah, Willie, it's me. I'm right here. I expected you here earlier, brother. What took you? Sorry about that. I had to make a quick stop at my house for something. I wanted to ask you, how's my sister and Lisa doing? I figured that they would have come here with you. They're doing okay. Stacy's sort of mad at me for the time being, and Lisa had to comfort her friend after Luke's death. <sighs> I remember hearing about her being friends with Luke's daughter. I can't imagine how she feels about all of this. So basically someone did a drive-by on you two and you got completely shot up? Pretty much. Too bad I couldn't copy down the license plate before they got away. No one can blame you for that. You were on the ground and bleeding out. Cut yourself some slack, would you, Will? Look, Willie. I ran by my house to grab a tape player because I found this tape that had some audio on it that I think you might want to hear. Idea for poem number 47. A man hears a ticking noise in his attic, and he figures out that it's a supernatural being. Sounds a bit generic and bland, I will admit, but hey, I've heard worse. No, no, no this isn't the right tape. He gave me the wrong tape. Who did? I I'm so sorry, but I need to figure out what the hell's going on here. Abraham! Damn it, Abraham. What have you gotten yourself into this time? Guys, something went wrong. Crow gave us the wrong tape. If that's true, then that's the second worst thing to happen to us tonight. Lewis and Paul have gone missing. We have no clue where they could be. We need to find Crow and Sparrow's hideout to see if they took them. Why would they have taken them, though? Well, it seems pretty obvious. They betrayed us, and now we're in deep shit. I always had a bad feeling about those two. I'll go with you, Abe, to see if they took Lewis. The rest of us should stay here. Hold down the fort. No. The rest of you need to hide somewhere safe. If they're working with some other criminals, they'll be coming here to look for you here. Don't worry about that. I know a safe place where we can hide. Crow! Sparrow! Where are you? Look, no more harm has to be done. Just give us back Lewis and Paul, and then we can go our own separate ways. This doesn't have to get any uglier. Oh, I hate to say it, Abraham, but it's not quite that easy. What is going on here? I still can't believe you would throw me to the dogs like that, you son of a bitch. Sorry, Sparrow. As bad as the work can be, the payment could be a lot worse. I hate to say it, but I kind of have to agree with you. So what? Crow was the one who betrayed us, not Sparrow? Yes. Crow gave us the wrong tape and tipped off Jeremiah before we confronted him. That's why it went over too well. Because he knew. He knew the whole time. Quite right, Abraham. But not just that. I did the drive-by earlier and shot those two cops after hearing from an outside source they were growing a bit too suspicious after raiding Alan's home. On top of that, I assassinated Declan in prison with this beauty, out of fear of him spilling any more details that we wouldn't want to get out to the public. You and your people were real close to getting my secret out, but I can't allow that. I have big plans for this town, Abraham. But do you know what will happen if you don't stop chasing me down to turn me in? Oh, let me guess. We'll all get killed. Killed? Come on, Abraham. Don't be obvious. I'm not gonna kill you. I will burn you to the ground. I still have a lot more to get out, though. For instance, I know exactly what happened to your parents. What? Oh, yeah. A close friend of mine, a childhood friend you could say, we've had big plans for this town that we've been brewing up for a long time. I could tell you more and how your parents got involved. All you have to do is just let me kill your friend here. Hell no! Come on, Jeremiah, no one else has to die. Depends on Lewis. 
If he wants to know all the dirty little details about what happened to his parents and what I had planned for this town. Lewis, don't, please, don't do this. I, I know how much your parents mean to you, how you loved them, and you want to know what happened to them. But I'm your best friend, man. They wouldn't want you to do this. Please. They might be gone, but I'm still here. I'm still here for you, dude. You're right, Paul. I can't let you die after everything you've done for me. I don't know what I'd do without you. Oh, well, isn't that heartfelt? Too bad there's no room for that here. No! You... You... You monster! I hate to say it, kid, but sometimes you need a monster in order to work your way up to being a criminal. Now you have two choices. You can either forget about all of this and let us continue our business, or we ruin you from the inside out. I can think of a third choice that we have. <laughs>